All right, have your tickets ready as we sound the all aboard for the conclusion of the murder on the mystery train. After we bring you up to date on events as Breakaway continues with the latest news. Good morning, I'm Steve Dunlop from the Channel 5 New Jersey Bureau. In Elizabeth, a high school senior is being charged with the first murder in that city in 20 years, the strangling of a seven-year-old girl. 18-year-old Ralph Edwards is being held on half a million dollars bail. The victim, Takesha Landerway, was found in an abandoned railroad station on February 11th. A three-alarm fire last night in downtown Newark caused heavy damage to several businesses. The blaze on Academy Street was brought under control in a little over an hour. Half a dozen residents were evacuated without injury. Jesse Jackson's campaign is hoping to capture 32 of New Jersey's 73 convention delegates in next month's primary. Jackson attends a rally in Newark tomorrow. Today, he met with the Soviet ambassador in Washington, asking Moscow not to boycott the Summer Olympics. New Jersey has decided to get rather to make getting a doctor's license tougher for foreign medical school graduates. The Board of Medical Examiners voted to triple the number of years that graduates of foreign schools must spend as medical residents before getting a license to practice. A former city council president in Morristown is under indictment for armed robbery. David Edwards is charged in connection with a holdup last month at a bank in Upper Deerfield Township. New Jersey's newest casino could open as early as Monday. Workmen are putting the final touches on Harris Trump Plaza on the boardwalk. The complex cost $220 million. In other news, the World Court in the Netherlands has ordered an end to U.S. mining of Nicaraguan harbors. Washington says the mining already has stopped. James Adams was executed in Florida's electric chair this morning for the beating death of a rancher in 1973. The longest game in Major League Baseball history ended last night with the Chicago White Sox beating the Milwaukee Brewers 7-6. The game lasted eight hours, six minutes, spanned 25 innings, and had to be played over two days because of an American League curfew. Variable clouds and sun with a chance of late day showers today. Relatively mild, highs in the low 60s, sunny and milder still tomorrow and Saturday. Right now it is 56 degrees. I'm Steve Dunlop, Channel 5 News.